The SN Queso Trident was a French experimental interceptor aircraft developed in the 1950s by the Société Nationale de Constructions Aéronautiques du Sud-Ouest. Conceived as part of France's effort to re-establish its military aviation industry after World War II, the Trident was a cutting-edge project utilizing both rocket and jet propulsion. Design studies began in 1948 in response to a French Air Force requirement for a supersonic point defense interceptor. The aircraft was designed by Lucien Serventy as a shoulder-wing monoplane with a sleek, bullet-shaped fuselage, straight, thin wings, and an all-moving tail. It featured two Turbomeca Marlboro II turbojets mounted on the wingtips and a central CPR-481 rocket engine. The Trident used hypergolic propellants, furoline and nitric acid, which ignited on contact, eliminating the need for an ignition system but introducing significant handling risks. The first prototype, SO-9001Y, took its maiden flight on March 2, 1953, using only its turbojets. Rocket-powered flight began in November 1954. The second prototype crashed during initial trials. To overcome insufficient thrust, the Marbore engines were replaced with more powerful Dassault MD-30 Viper turbojets in 1955. Trident-1 achieved Mach 1.8, and altitudes up to 20,000 meters during tests. An improved version, the SO-950 Trident II, featured a two-chamber Seeper 631 rocket engine, a redesigned fuselage, and missile capability. Although one prototype reached Mach 1.96 and altitudes exceeding 24,000 meters, development was marred by accidents, including a fatal explosion in 1957, and escalating costs. Only six pre-production units were completed before the program was canceled in 1958 in favor of the Dassault Mirage III. Despite its short lifespan, the Trident set several unofficial altitude and climb records, reaching up to 26,000 meters. The aircraft's legacy lies in its advanced mixed propulsion concept, extreme performance capabilities, and role in advancing post-war French aerospace innovation. The first Trident prototype remains preserved at the Musée de l'Air de l'Espace near Paris.